Hi, this time we're going to look at the GNOME system monitor. What is the GNOME system monitor? It's the task manager of Windows. It is the control shift escape. It is the control alt delete. It's the one that you say don't run this program anymore. Yeah. What can you do more? You can look at who is using my memory and then you can see which program you have to get rid of. The resources CPUs, and memories, and the swaps, and the network histories, and also the hard disk if they're getting too full. So there's a system monitor, which is quite neat and interesting things to check out and to see what's going wrong. I would like to have that under a keyboard shortcut, which is for me in Windows Control Shift Escape, and then I get the task manager. But I just press them, I don't get it. Hmm. So let's quickly change it because Ctrl Alt Delete. Let's quickly look at it. This is Ctrl Alt Delete. No, no, sorry, don't want to do that. So, solution keyboard, key is enough. Keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, custom shortcuts. Let's make one. Let's make our own Ctrl plus Shift. I hope I said it right earlier on. Oops, what is what am I writing? Let's make it bigger. Control plus shift plus and then escape. Escape. Then we type the program. What program are you going to start? I am going to start GNOME System Monitor. Nothing else. It's not system monitor, it's GNOME System Monitor. That's the name. Okay. Here we have keyboard bindings. Click to set a new accelerator key. Press escape or click again to cancel operation. Okay, so I click. It's waiting. I type control, shift and escape and I let go. Now when I press control, shift, escape again, there he is. My system monitor is inside. It's uh, inside the system. It's, it's part of the system with my own personal keyboard shortcut. Ciao!